All right, so we're here with Lou Williams. We just got done listening to his album. So I just have a few questions for you. Growing up here in Atlanta, how was the music scene? How did it influence you to begin rapping? You know, we had so many different people. Um, I did a record called Blessing in Disguise where I just talked about T.I. being an international pimp because a lot of people don't even know that's what tip means. I talked about Bone Crusher had us all shook. Cool Breeze had us ducking watching for the hook. You know what I'm saying? So all of those things influenced my music. And then I moved to Philly. I listened to Meek, Gilly the Kid, and all those guys, State Property, Beanie Siegel. So I got a lot of different influences that showed in the music. Yeah, so listening to the album, I definitely do hear the Philly influence. Did you uh, did you work a lot with the producers out there when you were recording? Yeah, I worked out with Papa Mitro, um, Brizzy on the beat. Uh, was two of the guys that I worked with. Me and Cannon had did some stuff, but it ended up just making this particular project. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna drop one right after this, where we're gonna get it. So I was working with some different guys. Okay, cool. What made you name the album The Underground Go? Uh, you know what? It was just it was just a time where I really wanted people to appreciate my music, appreciate um, the legacy that I built for myself. You know, I, yeah. I represent the underdogs, represent the underrated, you know, and represent those guys. You know, you got your Jay Z's. And you got your Lil Wayne's, and then on the flip side, you got the UGKs. You know what I'm saying? You got those guys that even the goats appreciate. You know, yeah. so I just wanted to name them. So when we were listening to the album, one thing you said was you had a lot of underground artists and influencers. You didn't want to bring in the top dogs because you said y'all was coming up together. For sure. Why was that so important to you? Because I know with you being who you are, it probably wouldn't have been yeah. hard to get the I big Because I got a platform where I can help somebody else. Yeah. Even if somebody don't don't migrate to my music, they might hear one of the artists that's on there and go look for their music. You know, mm -hmm. so for me to have a platform, have an opportunity to introduce other people to the to the scene, I just wanted to do that. I love it. So what's next for you? I know you said you got a video out right now. What's Shit, next? It's easy. We ready to hoop. You yeah, know, once you're ready. we get we get the album out, all of that stuff is done. So it'll yeah. come out when it come out. But I'm ready to hoop. So. How is that balancing both basketball and doing your music? Is it hard or you, you find the balance pretty good? No, nah, it ain't hard at all. You know, we got twenty four hours in a day. I heard you that. Know, some people got some people got different hobbies. Yeah. One of mine is to make music. So on yeah. some off time I just make some music and keep moving. Cool. Last question for you. Who's your favorite artist out right now? Uh right now? Mm -hmm. Probably be uh I probably listen to more Lil Baby than anything, but in, in life, Lil Wayne is the go-to. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you.